Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna to be time for some Victoria Do with the Concert of Your Mod as the United States. Okay, so it's here 1826 and uh, we're making some money. We're having some research. We are building up our military. Uh, we need more Dixie troops though, so we'll have to probably support some Dixie troops in the south, hopefully. Where are people actually moving to? That's what I'm kind of curious about. I'm wondering, do people move to the south or to the north? Usually it's to the north. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's sick. What the hell, dude? Really? I can click on a province and I can see where people are going to the colonies? Dude, that's cool. <laughs> I can see where people are coming? <gasps> that is awesome. Look at that, man. That's fucking cool. So people are going to people are going to what looks like Virginia, Richmond. They're going to Manassas. They're going to Shreveport, Louisiana. And they're going to St. Augustine, Florida. And then a lot of people are going to the colonies too. That is awesome, dude. I did not know that map mode existed. That's really cool. So let's finish up with these bureaucrats everywhere, hopefully. Administrative map mode. Yeah, we need all of this to be green and then we can start promoting soldiers in the south Um, You know, it's also weird is I'm not sure if this is entirely true But I've actually also heard that when you declare the Civil War Your soldiers loyalty depends on where they were raised and not so much the culture so if they were from the south they're loyal to you. If they're from the north, they're loyal to the north. I don't know. If somebody wants to look that up for me from the Twitch chat, I don't actually know if that's true. If somebody would like to look that up for me, that would actually be really helpful. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm actually not sure at all. Wow. Uh, with 75% taxes on all the income of our people, we're actually making... Pretty decent money, and everybody's actually happy. We need more conservatives, so let's take a look at that. We're gonna want to boost education administration administration spending once we have some more money. I think right now we should give it a minute, but we'll want to, you know, get some more. <clears throat> We're gonna want to get some more, um, some more money before we keep, you know, boosting spending and such. Ooh, we just got uh some more research. Fugitive slave. Yeah, we need more conservatives, so he stays in. Let's go for Experimental Railroad. Mm. I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep. I'm afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. Alexander the Great. <laughs> wow. So, probably in the 1830s, from 1836 onward, we'll probably be fighting the Empire of Mexico. Um, like I said, I'd like to annex a lot of this territory if we can. They are now an absolute monarchy. They're still actually the monarchy. They should have probably descended into a civil war right now for the Republicans, but I guess we'll keep an eye on them. Um, we should attack Spain for Cuba. One of these days, when he's not... Well, I, mean, I guess we could right now, but I don't know. It's not too big of a deal. Perhaps, perhaps. I think there's actually an event that will give you claim on that territory. We'll see. Um, can we be spending now? Yeah, we need more clergymen. We need more education spending. What about bureaucratic spending? Hmm. Let's take a look here. Montana. Let's create a... Uh, there we go. Any more colonies? No, not for now. <clears throat> so I'm wondering here. So Tampa, Tampa's in Florida. Nashville, Tennessee, Louisville. Is that Louisville, Kentucky? Louisville. Where is that? This is Vicksburg. What the hell's Louisville? Louisville, Kentucky, I thought it was. Tuscaloosa. Yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. Culture, Yankee, some Dixies, Afro-Americans, Irish. Okay. All right. Well, for now, until I figure out what's going on with that culture thing, we'll just stick with the uh, 
with the Dixie troops. I'll have to figure out what's going on with that, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, I got a comment in Twitch chat says your troops aren't loyal from where they come from. Uh your armies got split your armies get split in half and then both ends receiving 50%. Now, see, that's the thing is I don't know if that's true because that's not what I've heard. That's not what I've heard happens in the Civil War. I don't actually know though. I've never actually fought the Civil War. So do I just recruit just a bunch of troops and just see what happens? I don't even know. You know, because if that was true, if that was true, then that means that when the Civil War is declared. The CSA basically has like an equal chance of winning the war, which is not really true. The, the CSA has a much smaller population and industrial base, at least usually. So I don't know. I always thought that it was based on culture. Yankee troops are loyal to the north. Texan and Dixie troops are loyal to the south. As long as your state had slavery as well. I think once you don't allow slavery, it changes. But to my knowledge, that's that's what I know. That's what I think it is anyway. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I'll keep an eye on it, and uh, maybe I'll have to do some more research. Because, I mean, I don't think the Civil War is going to come for a while, so I don't know. Let's see. Conservatives, yes. Ooh, Experimental Railroad. Culture, Commerce, Navy. Uh, let's go for Strategic Mobility. Keeping a strong military is going to be good for killing the Empire of Mexico. Just smash their troops. Industry 1. The Water Wheel accepts water and turns and gives it away. Jalal al Din Muhammad Rumi. Population growth, beautiful. Let's see here. Twitch chat has asked me, do I want to invest in the South in its industrial economy? Um, I can't. We don't have the party for it. We have uh, a party that supports interventionism right now. So I guess I could. No, I can't build factories. Yeah, I can, I can, you know, do other stuff. Oh, we just got railroads. Sweet. Let's build railroads. Well, I think the, the capitalists will actually take care of it for me. Yeah, they'll, they'll do just fine. You know what we do need is naval bases, actually. Let's not forget those. Um, I wouldn't mind forts either. Let's build some forts, probably. We'll build forts, I think, in the south, not the north. <laughs> you know, because I'm a cheeky bastard. Yeah, let's see. Richmond, Virginia... Washington, I don't think we're going to get control of Washington, I don't know, no forts actually, yeah, that's Hartford, Connecticut right there, okay, yeah, so we'll build forts in the south and along the border with Mexico, I think, but we will not build them, yeah, we won't, we won't build them in the north, so we can, if we have to, we can siege stuff down quickly, Memphis, Nashville, Kentucky, God, Victoria 2 is such a good game. Such a good game. Such such awesome stuff. It's just awesomeness. It's awesomeness. It's beautiful stuff. Here's Las Vegas. Okay. No. No, USCA. No. Let's see here. I got a question in Twitch chat. Weren't the Democrats at the time more popular in the South? Yes. Yes, they were. And back in this time, the Democrats were the conservatives, and they were they were popular in the South, and then the Whigs were usually popular in the North. That wasn't always the case, but usually. Um, yeah, usually. And that's actually, I mean, that stayed that way for a long time. The Democrats, the Democrats were very, very popular in the South until, I believe, the American election of 1968. After that, usually the Democrats were more liberal, and then the Republican Party was more conservative. So it was a big, they call it a... Um, a shift, a party shift, or a party system shift, or a uh, they also they also say it's a political realignment. Uh, any more Dixie troops? Come on, man! Yeah, give me some Dixie regulars in here. We do need some artillery. I wouldn't mind grabbing some more. Wow, we are building a lot of stuff. Let's actually go ahead and not keep an eye on constructions. Maybe I, I think we're just gonna be building way too much for that to be kind of useful. Um. Dixie Artillery, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take a look at that. Let's see, owning a home. The many immigrants who have arrived in our country have created a demand for housing. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I could piss off the capitalists in New York, which is fine with me, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Abolitionist pamphlets. Ooh. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see, an extensive tract describing the purported unconstitutionality of slavery is being widely disseminated. Let's see, shall we try to curtail the distribution? I yes, which will make people more likely to support slavery. Okay. Let's see, capitalists, are you building my railroads? Are you building my railroads? You better be building my railroads. I guess we can subsidize them a little bit. That's fine. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> Mexican Cuba? Excuse me? An envoy from the Empire of Mexico seeks America's support for an effort by his government to seize control of Cuba. Yeah, no, fuck you, dude. If anyone's gonna have Cuba, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Excuse me? No, 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 no. Copperheads. Let's see, fire eaters. It has put at rest forever all the agitating questions relating to our peculiar institution. Let's see. Fire eaters, radical pro-slavery agitators have appeared. Oh, cool. Cool. Fire eaters are radical pro-slavery advocates. So we can make people more reactionary, which is good. Let's take a look here. Build my railroads. Build them. Hey, a Polish uprising. In the past decade, the Russian Tsar has undermined the Polish constitution and is taking steps toward integrating Poland fully into Russia. Now it seems that the Poles have risen up in rebellion against the Tsar and are seeking patrons among the other powers. If we acknowledge the rebellion is legitimate, we would win us influence over prospective independent Poland, but it would antagonize Russia and could lead to a further uh, Polish separatism. Well, considering that Russia is usually one of the most autocratic and conservative monarchies on Earth, I'd probably say we will back the Tsar. Yeah. Like, if I wanted to roleplay, I would say an authoritarian, conservative United States would probably do that. Would probably not support the Polish. I don't think they would. I don't know. Carassiers. Last oh, construction of the Carassiers. Cool. Uh, any more troops? Any more troops? Can we boost brr um actually do I want military spending perhaps? Can we can I boost administration and military spending? Is that like too much to ask? Let's see copperheads. This event pops up I think a little too much. Like I said, this mod can be buggy. Yeah. <clears throat> the blight of 1829. We will spare no effort in relieving the farmers. Um, yeah, we'll help them out. It's fine. Because you gotta remember, we depend on the farmers, right? A lot of our base of votes comes from farmers, so we have to help them out. Yeah, the Yankee population is increasing. The Dixie is not really. It's actually declining, I think. <laughs> That's, up. That's funny. Hmm... Let's see. When will we go to war with Mexico? I'm actually curious. I wonder when that's going to happen. Whoa, there's a war going on. Mexican conquest of Cuba. Looks like France and Spain uh, are allied. And... Very interesting. Holy shit, I get a Monroe Doctrine? CB against Spain here in Ecuador? That's pretty fucking cool. And then Spain is like kicking Grand Colombia's ass. Whoa, dude, that's pretty sweet. You know, actually, remind me to do a Grand Colombia campaign one of these days. It's actually a really fun game. It's really, really hard, but I, I've had a great time as uh, Grand Colombia. Guns cross the border. In the United States of America, trade flows freely from one to the other, and few, if any, restrictions exist on trade between our merchants. We're sending guns to Mexico, apparently. The merchant is a free man. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Sure. As long as it makes us richer. Trade deficits do not exist in our vocabulary. How about railroads? Yep, they're coming along. Good stuff. Yeah, so we've increased military spending, education spending, administration spending. It's all at 100%, basically. Um, In the eastern United States, our administrative efficiency is good. But we probably could improve it in the west a little bit. Strategic mobility. Ooh. Let's go for muzzle-loaded rifles. 
We can now build Hussars. A lot of Yankee troops, man. I'm serious. Whoa. It's only 1829? Wow, it actually feels like so much later than that. <laughs> Jesus. Is that crazy? Let's see. I got a question in the Twitch chat. When did the real Mexican-American War start? I believe 1846. 1846 to 1848. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. See, Copperheads, we have more important concerns. <laughs> There's a comment in the Twitch chat. That awkward moment in about 20 years where American troops are killed by weapons they exported to Mexico. <laughs> that's so true, though. Yeah, that's so true. Okay, so these Jacobins better not fire. I really would prefer they did not. So, I don't think they will. There's not enough militancy, I think, in the United States for that to happen. Hey, another election. Election 1830. Uh, intensive farming? Yeah, we're not going to worry about the intensive farming. It could probably be bad for us, so. An orderly election. A war hero speaks out, saber rattling in. If there's one thing we need more of, it's surely more guns. Yep. Sounds good to me. War policy debated in local election. We are patriots, and we will fight for our country. Uh, decisive arguments. Ooh, these are a lot of reactionaries. Let's say state capitalism, why not? He stays in. Fugitive slave, uh, fugitive slave law. Protectionism, please. Yeah, we might actually get a reactionary party in power this, this election. Immigrants in my United States? <laughs> That's funny. Cholera! Oh shit, we're gonna quarantine the province. Ooh, deep shaft mining in Maryland. Cool. Raise the tariffs. We will support tariffs, but we're not actually going to put them in place because we have factories that we need to be online. So, it's fine. How many craftsmen do we have anyway? Uh, the barracks from hell. We cannot allow this to continue. New York is by far our most populous state, for sure. We're going to help out the farmers. We're sixth in the world. That's cool. National debate, trade policy. The intensive election campaign has reached the boiling point in the United States where fierce trade policy debate pits the friends of free trade against the pals of protectionism. The friends of free trade against the pals of protectionism. Who the fuck did the writing for this event? <laughs> That's hilarious. Paradox, you are ridiculous. <laughs> that alliteration, man. Alabama, South Carolina. South Carolina. Let's see, state capitalism. Yes, I think we will get reactionaries in power. Yeah, looks like they're about to get a majority. Immigrants, they're, come on, get to 50%. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it be. That's fine. Ooh, check that out. That's interesting. So if I go towards protectionism, I also go towards interventionism, which is the opposite of what... Well, that's, that's curious. Yeah, what the hell is this, man? Why do the Southern Democrats support free tr or protectionism? That is not... What they supported, <laughs> what the hell? They are supposed to support free trade. Protectionism was really just kind of a wig thing. <laughs> Damn it, man. This game. Hey, there we go, we got Southern Democrats in power now, cool. Sounds good. Okay, Um. so now I can build factories and... America, New England, Virginia. Virginia is probably not a bad place to build them, like Richmond. Let me see, what does Richmond produce? Tobacco, great, okay. Well, cigarette factory, we have tobacco. Let's grab paper. Do it. Does the cigarette factory need paper? Yes, yes, we do. So we need a paper mill here. Um, I'd love probably, what are we importing? Tea, opium, and wine. Oh, wow, that's not a lot. Okay, can I build other stuff? Like either clothes or I'm thinking um, guns. Yeah, so if we had bronze, which we do, if we had early small arms and bronze artillery, hmm. Hmm, I don't know, hmm. Ammunition is always really profitable. Ammunition is super profitable. Gunpowder, do we have a gunpowder factory? We do, actually, we need coal and sulfur, which we can get. All right, let's build some ammunition. Let's also build some gunpowder. 
how many more factory slots do I have here in, in, uh, let me find Richmond real quick. Five. So I can go, I can go six, seven, eight, three more factories. Um, what would I want? I'm thinking probably a bronze factory, small arms factory, bronze artillery. It's probably good. Let's do that. I want to build that Virginia though. What are you, what are you doing? Bronze, small arms, and artillery. The American people have spoken. Yeah, so we'll build all that Virginia because Virginia is our largest southern state. That might change in the future though. We just got field fortifications, which is beautiful. Can we build more better forts too? I hope so. Uh, we will take the... Uh, wow, dude, we're making some serious money. Military spending at 100% preferably. We just got an administrative genius as our first minister. Let's grab more Dixies. We need more troops in the south. We need soldiers. We will begin the process of encouraging soldiers in the south. Uh, fire eaters. Yes. So fire eaters are radical pro-slavery advocates. So that's good. So we want the uh, the percentage of soldiers in our southern states to be probably like 4% if more. The main census. The Treaty of Paris in 1783 ended the American Revolutionary War and established a new international border between the United States and British Canada. Some of the details, however, were vague and even contradictory. Main census. Oh, God, we got nationalist agitation out here. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. No Yankees go away, damn it. The American Historical Society, a group of concerned citizens, quote, quote, has organized a historical society in the capital, ostensibly pledged towards providing support for American families with a long history of residency in the country. We become more liberal. Or not. We get 20 reactionary in the upper house. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. What the hell? Is this France? No, who is this? Wait, what the hell? Holy shit, France! He's an absolute monarchy. Check that out. He's not a constitutional government. He's actually like a bourbon authoritarian monarchy. That's pretty cool. That means that he's our friend, probably. Yeah. Wow, dude, he's actually getting wrecked. Mexico's getting wrecked. Damn it, Denmark! Why are you declaring bankruptcy, man? A little bastard. Copperheads, Massachusetts. We will support the factories regardless of where they're built because, you know, at least eventually we're going to be in power in that territory. So we're going to we're going to want to go for culture and I think positivism because of the education efficiency, probably. We're going to go we're going to want the industrial tech for sure. It's going to be pretty good. We need industrial tech for sure. It's very important. Give me, yeah, actually, I'll take a Dixie Asian Engineer. Let's grab, hmm. Damn, Netherlands. What? Why is everybody going bankrupt? I don't understand. Who are we loaning money to? Oh, my God. We gave Spain 100,000 pounds? Holy shit. <laughs> That's quite a bit, dude. A household affair. So we can actually try and go back to a previous political reform, which would be wealth voting, which means basically we become more reactionary. Um, however, that pisses off the people in North Carolina, it pisses off our poor strata. But I guess, yeah, we're going to try and be reactionary. Let's try and roll back political reforms rather than try and enact them. I don't know. Could be fun. The Jacobins could rise up and try and kill us, though, <laughs> to be fair. Um, let's decrease taxes just a smidge. We have way too much of a surplus, in my opinion. We'll keep taxes on the poor, but we should decrease taxes, I think, on the on the at least on the on the middle class, if anything. I actually usually like to tax. I love to tax the poor, and then I love to tax the rich. But the middle class, I like to keep fairly, you know, not doing too bad. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just drop them like all the way down. 
Yeah, they're only giving me like 25%, which is good. Spain! <clears throat> Spain. Yeah, he's allied with France, though. We can't go to war with France. He's too strong. Uh, give me Dixie regulars. Okay. How's the railroads? Any more colonies I can build? No? Okay. Um, how are the factories doing? Are we making any money? Holy shit, this clipper shipyard is just losing lots of cash. Okay. So we're missing some raw materials, which is unfortunate. We're importing tea, liquor, and boots. So we prefer to build some boots somewhere. Beautiful industrialism. It's glorious. Built a paper mill is glorious. We can invest in places... Like, we could invest in the Empire of Mexico. I don't necessarily want to, because we're just going to go to war with him later. He's got 1.62 million adult males. Are you serious? We get a CB against Mexico? <gasps> Dude, that's could that's cool, man. I would love to take California from him. Or well, Texas is not a is is Texas a colony to him technically? Can I take Texas from him? Yeah, I can take all of fucking Texas? Dude, gnarly. The thing is, how many troops does he have in the field? 13. What do I have? I have 15. Wow. We're ahead of him in tech though. Yeah, he's got four out of 35 military tech. We have way more than that. Oh, I have even more troops, actually. Never mind. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go and declare war real quick for Texas. We can take all of this. Holy shit. We might even be able to add New Mexico and California. Ballsies. That's cool. Okay. That sounds good to me, man. Shit. That just makes my life a whole lot easier. That's a free CB we can use. Sick. That's cool. All right, uh, let's go and take a break here, and uh, let's take a quick break here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. We will declare war on the Empire of Mexico. We'll get Texas for ourselves. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.